Hello there! Hello fandom lovers! Welcome back to another video. Now, in this video we're going to be tackling one of the world's age-old big questions. No, it's not. How did the world start? No, it's not. What's the purpose of life? And it's not... Insert... Big question here. No, it's why did Professor Flitwick look so different from the first two films to the rest of the Harry Potter films? Let's discuss this. So if you don't already know who uh, Professor Flitwick is, he's a character in Harry Potter played by Warwick Davis and he is the charms teacher at Hogwarts throughout Harry's time at the lovely wizarding school we've all come to know and love. And in the first two films, he's shown as the wacky, he's quite quirky, he's got long grey hair, he's got a grey beard, he's got a nice little pointy hat. And that is the first two films we see, which is great. And then we get to Prisoner of Azkaban onwards. And he's sporting some lovely brown curtains, a lovely classy moustache. And, you know, he looks a lot younger. Does that make sense? I mean, why, why, why is he aging backwards? Is that something wizards do? I'm not sure they do, actually. So, something that could be to blame for Flitwick's change is the change of directors from the first two films to the rest of the franchise. So the first two films were directed by Hollywood famous director Chris Columbus. The guy who discovered America. It's not that man, it's a different one. And uh, when he took on these films, when Warner Brothers and him started working together, he was like, I pledge to... This is exactly what he said, well quoted. I pledge to stay honest to the books, because uh, I like the books, and I will do as best I can to replicate the books onto the big screen. Which, uh, you know, that's good. I respect you, Mr. Columbus. And so in the books, uh, Flitwick is actually described as being short with grey hair and a pointy hat. And that is what we see when he's introduced and in the second film. And then, from Prisoner of Azkaban onwards, we have a change of director. And that director is called... I would try and remember this, but his name is so... peculiar. Alfonso Cuaron. That's not how you pronounce it. But I'm going to call him Alfonso Cuaron. Now, when Alfonso took on the Harry Potter franchise, he had a different idea. He preferred a more dark take. He changed Hogwarts into a darker place. And this is something I'm not impressed with. He'd never read the books. And didn't like J.K. Rowling's interpretation. He didn't like the author's interpretation of her own books. What? You take on a film and you go, actually, now I don't like your inter- It's not an interpretation, she wrote it. Your interpret- So, and also, he didn't- There was no role for Flitwick in the third film. There was no, Flitwick wasn't written into the script, but Alfonso wanted Warwick Davis to be in the film, because he loved him as an actor, he wanted him to have a cameo, so he gave him a cameo, to which he was credited as Wizard. Some people know him as the Choir Master, you know the, with the frogs, that whole thing, yeah. That was, we now think that's Flitwick, but he quoted him as, that's the Choir Master, that is Wizard, in the credits. And from then on, Flitwick was reintroduced, but stuck to that younger look of uh, Flitwick. So that's that. That's um, what? So that's where we have the problem of someone who clearly hasn't read the books or haven't even done their research on what a character should be, and completely changes it. So who have we got to blame for Flitwick changing? Alfonso Curano, Curaco, Crocodile, that one. And so people are like, well, that's fine, it's, it's interpretation. And if Alfonso had done the franchise from the start, fine. Because that's all we would have known from the films. But because it went from what he should have been in the books, and transferred to this younger look, uh, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that one, actually. But it did include one of my favourite moments of Flitwick, which is during the Battle of Hogwarts. He's like, yes! That is such a good moment. You can stop it there now and we'll go. 
Now aside from Flitwick's obvious change, you might have also noticed other changes within the films from Prison of Azkaban onwards. One of the most notable changes is I think the uniform and the way they look. So a lot of people assume that the sort of jumpers and tie look that the students take on is as a result of them growing up. Maybe the old years don't have to wear robes and uh, they just get to wear their jumpers. That's not the case. Um, there's nowhere in the books that say that happens. But it was um, Alfonso's idea that it should be more mature and realistic. A franchise about wizards should be more realistic. Okay. So that's, and then you see the changes in Hogwarts, it gets really dark. And from Prison of Aspen onwards, the whole series looks as if it's filmed through a cup of black tea. I'm almost convinced they had their cameras. And they thought, I've got, I've got a good idea. They got a lens out of glass, yeah, poured in some freshly brewed tea and attached it on and thought, we'll film this one for a cup of tea. So, you can't see what you're doing. So there's no way to watch those films and actually see glare from the TV, Pfft, shut the curtains, it doesn't matter, you can't see anything. You may as well just be listening to an audiobook. So overall, the person we have to blame for Flitwick's change is Alfonso Curaco. That's still not his name, is it? I don't know. Alfonso, insert surname here. So yeah, basically, if you're wondering what happened, it was him. Nothing to do with any of the creative team. It was literally just the director thought, I'm good, I don't like J.K. Rowling's interpretation of her own books. Which is an interesting choice. Yeah, but that's pretty much, that's pretty much why it happened. And that is why a lot of the other changes happened, was because this new director had a more mature and realistic view of her series about wizards. That's normal. That's... What's more realistic than a franchise that has flying cars, talking elves, ghost, dementor things, actual ghosts, and three-headed dogs? That seems pretty darn realistic to me, ladies and gentlemen. So that was my video on why Flitwick changed so much from the first two films to the rest of the franchise. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Comment what you think. Which one do you prefer? And again, as always with these videos, you can comment your opinion and I will comment on why you're wrong. Because there's only one right answer, but I'm not going to say which one I think is better. I'm just going to let you say and then I'll say no, incorrect. Or maybe you were right. Also, subscribe to this channel. Uh, there is a red button. It says subscribe. Click it. And then you show your support for me? Question mark? And I show up more when you're recommended. So if you want that, do that. Also, if you feel like it, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Because then every time I do one of these gorgeous uploads, which are either 5 o'clock or 5.30, it depends when I choose to schedule them for. And then they will pop up as a notification and say, look, this mediocre channel's uploaded. Would you like to watch it? And then you can watch it and do all the lovely stuff. Again, in this endless cycle of lovely stuff. Also, I have Instagram. Go over there, at the Fandom Master. I post Lego pictures and updates and time lapses. And in case YouTube messes up and doesn't put me into your recommended, or you have the bell on but it doesn't actually you know, notify you. I do upload on there saying when my videos are out. I also do behind the scenes pictures and lots of fun stuff like that. So go on over there, the link will be in the, in the, in, what? The link will be in the description and also on the end screen as always. Also at the end of the video, here and here, there are two more videos you can watch from me. Wow! And in the middle, there's a subscribe button. Click, click, happy days. Thanks for watching, and I will be sure to see you tomorrow, because we do daily uploads. Yeah!